Kids. Welcome to January 2021 Drawing Anime with Miss Lisa. Today we're going to start off the brand new year with drawing a sweet little rainbow unicorn. I think he's just so cute and I'm really excited to share this with you today. Let's get started. Right away we're going to draw his little face and ears. Okay, here we go. We're going to just draw out that little face. Pull in our ears right off the bat. Let's go ahead and draw in our eyes. Circle one. Circle two. How about those little nostrils? Oh, yeah. How about that little mouth? Now, let's go ahead and work on our unicorn horn. So we're going to go up like that and do kind of a triangle. Then we're going to come down here and add in the hair. Now remember, let's talk about our drawings again. It really doesn't matter if yours looks just like my drawing or just like this drawing because it's not going to look the same because it's your drawing. Remember that. That's important. Let's go ahead and draw the feet down here, the two circles, okay? Then let's add these leg parts right up here like that. One and two. I'm really liking it. Let's go down here and add our legs. Look, they kind of look like long little squares, see? And the little hoofs, loving it. Add in our legs like that. Oh, look, we're looking really good here. Okay, so now let's think about this. Let's draw the little parts that kind of show the ears. Let's go ahead and put the little animated circles in our eyes. And I'm thinking if you're okay with it, we're gonna go ahead and outline this one. I think that'd be fun. I'm gonna use a thin marker, but now listen, if you would like, you can use a crayon or you could use a colored pencil. Whatever you have on hand will work just fine. Remember, it's your unicorn and it's your way of doing it that's for you. And there's no right way or wrong way. However it looks, it's the way you see it and you draw it. Okay, let's go ahead and draw in this little horn. See how I'm kind of curving it in? That's going to give it more definition to look more like a horn rather than the triangle. So let's go ahead and do these little eyes. Notice I'm just kind of moving right down, making the outline. I'm going to give mine a little grin. I think that's important. I'm coming down here, going to color in his little hoofs, our little unicorn hoofs, going to come in and do his front legs, going to curve that a little bit like he's sitting down, doing those hoofs. Okay, I'm really liking the way this little guy's looking. I like his little chin. All right, I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to color in my eyes. Now remember, once again, you could use a crayon or you could use a um, colored pencil. It's whatever you have to, to make your little eyes. I'm just using this because it makes it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. But really and truly, I'll be honest, 
I like drawing with crayons and colored pencils a lot. So it's whatever you have on hand, that's what you can use. You could even use a pencil if you didn't have any crayons or colored pencils. You know, that could work too. It could be just a pencil drawing, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's your unicorn with the rainbow horn. Okay, this is looking kind of good. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm liking it. Oh yeah, really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with a um, colored pencil here, and I'm gonna give my rainbow unicorn little blue hoofs, kind of like he's wearing blue suede shoes. I know you guys might not know anything about blue suede shoes, but when I was young, that was very popular. Okay. Oh, I'm really liking it. I think I'm gonna come in and do a little bit of darker blue like this. See, it's kind of giving them a little bit of definition is the word. I'm gonna do it like that. What do you guys think? Are you gonna try that on your unicorn? You can if you want. Oh, I'm really liking it. Okay guys, now at this point, we're gonna start working on the horn. Now notice I picked out several colors to work on my horn. And you can do that too. You can pick out your favorite colors or you can pick out colors you think make a pretty rainbow. But I'm just gonna start going up the horn. How about yellow? Liking it. Then I'm gonna go with red. I'm liking that too. A little bit of pink. I mean, I think a rainbow unicorn should have a pink in this. Ooh, look what's this. A little bit more red. Blue. I really like the way this is looking. Orange. I had a purple, where'd that go? Oh yeah, purple next to orange is so pretty. And ooh, how about green? There's gonna be a lot of colors in my little unicorn. Let me go back to a little bit of blue, different color. And let's go back to yellow. How about a little orange again? A little green. Red. It almost looks like a little hat. I'm gonna end with pink again. All right, my little rainbow unicorn is looking so cute. Now, what you could do, which I think will be fun, is I'm gonna take my darker, bigger marker and outline him just a little bit more to give him some definition. I really think he's cute. I hope yours looks cute too, and I am sure it does. I bet if you showed your mom or your dad or your grandma or your brother or sister, they'd be like, oh, can you draw me one? I love it. And I do love it. Okay. All right, there's our little unicorn, and he is looking so spiffy. Do his little ears again. Little nose. Okay. All right, kids. We're looking good with this. I'm thinking it's a keeper for sure. Now, just to let you know, in February, we're going to be doing a really cute little drawing of a heart envelope. And so be sure and turn in in February to see that drawing tutorial. 
Okay, kids, here's our little unicorns with a rainbow horn. I hope you've enjoyed January's drawing tutorial. I look forward to seeing you all in February. Miss Lisa says bye and have a great time drawing.